Hi Taurus, this is going to be a general love reading for April 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. It is going to be general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you, and that is okay. But you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person's other signs. Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. All right. So let's see, Taurus, what is going on for you when it comes to love? First half of April. All right, we have nostalgia and we have guide. All right, so it could be that you are feeling very nostalgic. Someone is feeling very nostalgic about you. Um, we will see what this is about, but I'm getting that there's also strong guidance here, all right, for this connection, whether it be just for you independently or for um, the connection, okay? Let's, let's see what this is about. and Venus for the first half of April. All right, so for this situation, we have the sun crossed by the chariot. Okay, interesting. So I can't remember who had the... There was another reading that started off with the sun, I think. I think it was Sagittarius, actually. All right. Either way, we have the sun crossed by the chariot. So there's something here, yeah, that you're feeling a lot of love for, a lot of um, happiness, a lot of fulfillment, that that's, you just know that that's where your fulfillment is. Or it could be the other person, obviously. But there's a blockage when it comes to actually moving in that direction. It could be that somebody is just um, being very, very impulsive maybe or just feeling like they don't have control over which way they're going um, or how to get to this energy of, of the sun. Let's see the recent past. We have the Five of Pentacles, the near future. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so there was definitely some kind of a loss here. Um, feeling like, I mean, again, I'm also getting nostalgia with this. Possibly just because you're feeling like there's a feeling of having lost something or being alone, being abandoned. Okay, either for you or your person. So I do feel like there might be a separation here, most likely, especially having also the nostalgia card. Um, with the Queen of Pentacles being in the near future, though, that is a good sign that things are moving towards. Um, I feel like this is going. This is you actually standing in your own power here and feeling good about yourself. Let's see more here for your energy, the Ace of Cups. For them, we have the Three of Pentacles. More about you is the Nine of Wands. For them, the Moon and a potential outcome here is the Page of Wands. All right, so some of you might be dealing with a Leo, maybe a Cancer. I really feel like these two signs also showed up very recently. I can't remember which sign it was for though. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, you. I feel like you're you're moving in a good direction here, even though it is a little bit difficult for you. I feel like there have been many challenges that you have already overcome. And it's kind of like, you feel like you're at this point now where it might, I'm getting it kind of like it's peaking. It's peaking and this is requiring a lot of effort from you. However, with the Ace of Cups being here, I feel like, you know, you're you're finding that love within yourself, possibly also for the other person, but I'm mostly getting that this has to do with your own self. Um, for them, they have the Three of Pentacles and the Moon. So it's it's like this person feels like, I feel like they want to somehow compromise with you. They want to have some kind of a collaboration to see if things um, can work. But it could be that they're they're also afraid of that, or they're just they're feeling like they're in the dark. It 
Again, this could be Pisces, just calling out the signs as I see them, but of course it could be anything. We'll see when we clarify, we'll see more about that. I do see though, um, some kind of a beginning here, something like a new direction being taken, or at least a first step in a positive direction. So let's clarify. So let's clarify the sun with the chariot. All right, we have the nine of pentacles, the star, and the devil. All right, yeah, so there's a situation here again where it feels like there's, somebody really feels like they don't have control is the way it's coming through to me. Um, over which way they're going or how to go about it. Might even be that this person doesn't really know what it is exactly that they even want to move towards. Um, there's this wish that uh, I almost feel like this is you. It doesn't have to be, but it could be. Um, there's this wanting and a desire to be independent, a desire to really be able to feel like you are grounded and stable and secure within yourself, independent of something that has been holding you back, something that has been unhealthy for you, all right, which could be an addiction, it could be a fear, it could be um, a relationship, it could be anything. But whatever that something is, I feel like that is kind of like what is what has influenced you in a way where you feel like you don't have much control over where it is that you're going, even though you know what it is that you want, all right, and what you want is that sun. Um, so I do, I do feel though that you are healing, all right, with this star. I do feel like you're moving in that direction because you want it, you know, and when there's a will, there's a way. And I do see you pushing through here with this nine of, nine of wands as well. Not to mention we do have the queen of pentacles here, all right, in the immediate future. So I feel like you are moving in that direction. So let me see this. Let me just take a quick look at the past here with the five of pentacles. Right. We have the Page of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. Yeah, so it feels like you're coming from an energy of feeling um, like you had lost some kind of security here. Okay, you had there was something that may have been weighing heavy on you, um, something that was maybe even tiring to you, or a sense of responsibility that, for whatever reason, you are feeling at a loss now of that. But with that also came some kind of a stability and some kind of a security. And not only that, I feel like this is something with the Page of Cups that there was also emotions here. Um, it could even be that you or the other person has expressed some emotions and then, or about a commitment, or about the responsibility of a commitment possibly, and then it just feels like that didn't, didn't go very well, or that there was still something missing, something just, there was a sense of, of abandonment or rejection on one side or the other. And that could be, for some of you, what is influencing you now. Um, and for others of you, this could be just a little, um, something independent of this. So let's see, let's see the Ace of Cups. Alright, the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the King of Swords. Alright, so I feel like there's a little bit of... You have love, alright? You're holding a lot of love for this person, and I feel like this love... It manifests in ways where it might be a little bit inconsistent. I feel like you you sometimes might try to justify um, yourself out of this or you might try to be too analytical or too rational about whether or not you should have these emotions. And the thing is, is that 
you can't rationalize emotions, you know, you either, you either feel them or you don't. What you feel is what you feel. You can't just rationalize them away. Um, I mean, I do get that you do accept, on the, for the most part, how you feel, but again, it feels like it comes with this inconsistency of how you present that or how you express that or just how you even um, accept that within yourself. Um, but I mean, that's okay, you know, if you're, you're working through certain issues and a certain situation, you know, that's okay as long as you're, you're aware of that. And again, roles can be reversed, okay? I can't stress that enough. <laughs> All right, let's see the Knight of Wands. All right, the Queen of Wands, the Nine of Wands, and the Chariot again. Yeah, so I'm getting very strongly like Fire Sign and, and Cancer showing up. Um, I feel like, yeah, you know, there is what you, you know what you want. You are feeling very drawn to a particular connection here. Um, but again, having the Nine of Wands twice here, I feel like, and then the Chariot, again. See, so this is your person here with the, the Queen of, as the Queen of Wands. And this is the movement that you want to take towards them. And then we have the Nine of Wands right smack in the middle, right? Which is also the main energy that we're clarifying. So it's kind of like you you are showing some resistance to this movement. And again, it's because you you feel you might feel like you're going to lose control of your own self because you're really trying to ground yourself. So there could it could be that you are resisting moving towards this person because you have a fear of losing yourself or of losing control of this situation. Um, because in this deck, at least, this Nine of Wands for me is, is a card of resistance and resisting a little bit, um, feeling like you're guarded, feeling being on guard. And so I feel like that is what is preventing you from um, moving, moving forward in the way that you would want to, to go after this happiness, all right? Regardless of whether it is a person or a situation or whatever, whatever that is. Maybe your happiness is to move away from a person. Whatever that is, you feel like you might lose control if you do that. And so you're resisting what it is that you believe will bring you that happiness. But again, for most of you, I do feel like it is a particular um, person here. So let's see what is going on with them. I mean, maybe you have your, you know, good reason not to move towards this person. I don't know. There is nostalgia here, though. There's definitely nostalgia here. Well, let's see. Let's see the Three of Pentacles. All right, we have the Two of Swords, we have the Eight of Swords, and we have the Four of Cups. Okay, wow. So I feel like your person, the person that you're dealing with is is a little confused here. Um, it could be, maybe they have another situation going on um, for themselves as well. I mean, this might be talking about a contract, a specific contract that they have um, in their life. Could be related to you and it might not be related to you, but whatever that is, I feel like they're having a hard time seeing how this connection can possibly come to be in a way that would be satisfying, fulfilling, and happy. Um, this person is, it's, again, I feel like, like they would want to compromise with you. They, they may even want to help you. Um, I, and I don't know if they can, to be honest. I don't know if they can. I feel like this is something that you have to really, you know, um, work out yourself and especially when it comes to self-love and to finding that self-worth within yourself and I do see you doing that but I feel like it's something you you have to do um, mostly on your own however this person wants to compromise with you in some way but they're feeling like like they're being met probably with um, 
nothing from, from the other side. And it could be that this person too, you know, is a little bit too much in their headspace as well, overanalyzing and, and feeling trapped within their own um, thoughts about this. Just being a little bit pessimistic when it comes to how can we make this work, how can we compromise. Let's see the moon. Alright, the Ten of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and the Hermit. Alright. So I feel like this person, number one, is holding back a little bit. Um, and I feel like that's mostly because they're confused. They don't really know what is going on with you. Um, they don't know what how you're exactly feeling. It's like they're left in the dark and having doubts about how this can work. At least on a practical level. And again, I do see them wanting to assist, wanting to help, wanting to, wanting to give a little bit, you know, to the situation in order to help out, but I feel like they're holding back because they don't really know um, what it is that's going on with you. However, they, again, I think I said this before, I'm not sure. They, they want this Ten of Cups with you. They do want it, they just don't know if it is possible. Um, and it could even be because, you know, they feel like you're not providing much for this, so how can they? Again, roles can be reversed. Alright, so let's see. Let's see what's actually coming up. Let me clarify this Queen of Pentacles. Alright, we have the Five of Swords and the Hierophant. Alright, so... All right, this is your your energy here showing up again, okay, with the Hierophant. Um, I feel like, you know, maybe you don't trust yourself in general. And I feel like, yeah, you know, you are moving towards grounding yourself and towards, you know, feeling more um, stable and secure within your own self. But at the same time, I, I'm getting here that the message for you, because you can always control your future and what you're moving towards, so this is the opportunity for spirit to give a little bit of a um, of guidance or a message is to, you know, really work on that trust that you have for yourself. All right. Now, if if you don't trust another situation, then, yeah, you know, if, if that is coming from your intuition or from facts, you know, then go with that. But what I'm getting here is to make sure, you know, go deep within yourself and make sure that if you are not trustful of another situation, see if that stems from your own insecurity or is it really based on facts or your, your intuition. All right, because I feel like once you're in this, once you're in your power here as this Queen of Pentacles, you will be able to know that's when you will be able to make that discernment as to whether, you know, a commitment that, you know, maybe you want or that another person wants, is that something that can be trusted? And for the most part, I mean, if this was resonating with you, I do see this person as wanting to compromise. I don't see anything um, really deceitful from them. I see them more as being um, confused by, um, by your energy. So let me see the Page of Wands for the potential outcome. All right, so second time we're getting the Moon here, so Pisces energy. And the King of Wands, again, fire sign, um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. We do have a lot of Wands on the table. Um, yeah, okay, so definitely I feel like, you know, this is moving towards that this new beginning is possible, all right? I feel like there, these doubts, the insecurity, the fears, and the mistrust is what needs to be conquered, all right, in order for this to work. And that is, you know, that's going to be true for any relationship. And 
again, you know, if this is a, um, a person that you feel, you know, has not treated you right or, or that has been dishonest or anything like that, you know, that's a different story. This reading might not be for you or just, you know, take that. What I'm seeing here though, most of all, is that this is about trusting yourself first. Because only when you trust yourself can you then trust your intuition to make discernments about another person and then also be um, feel trust in another commitment or with another person. All right, the other person might be the best person in the world and the purest of people in the world. But if you don't trust yourself, you're never going to be able to trust this person. So, let's see. If this resonated, let's get your final message. All right, and we have unknown territory. You are exactly where you need to be. Yeah, things are not known at the moment. You, I feel like you are still processing these things. If you're on the other side of this story, again, you might not know what this person is. Um, like if you're, if you're the other person here with that moon energy, what I was saying that you don't know what's going on with them and you are confused, it's okay. You are exactly where you need to be too. All right, sometimes it's, we're not meant to know everything at the present time. All right, Taurus, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.